14, indicate what type or types of reaction each of the following represents. And then we have letter B out of the bunch. So in this case, I have two KClO3, which is a solid, will yield or produce two KCl solid plus three O2s. Okay, so let's do this as a picture, right? I have one single compound here, right? And it's KClO3. I'm going to represent this by saying that it's a green circle. Okay. And I'm going to classify it as, um, it really doesn't matter. We'll say A. This is going to, it looks like I have one total thing and it's going to separate. So I'm just using keywords here separate into two individual, uh, we have one compound here and we have an elemental state. So if I want to separate green, right, that would break down into something that's blue, if we're talking about colors, right? Blue and yellow, because technically blue and yellow make green. So I'm just going to say that, you know, this is B and this is C. But the idea here is that you had a single compound which broke down into smaller things. It separated, it broke down, right? In chemistry terms, we call this decomposing. If you literally have a one compound here and you break down into its smaller pieces, you're decomposing. This is called a decomposition reaction. So that's one of the answers, right? It's decomposing into two different things. You start off with one thing on one side and you break down into uh, two things, decomp, decomposition. Now let's see what's going on as far as maybe charges. When I have a compound, right, just know that every single element of that compound has to have a charge, whether it's a positive or a negative. Well, in this case, it doesn't matter, but just know that each one has to have a charge. So let's just say that potassium is a plus, oxygen is a negative, and let's just say cal uh, chlorine is a plus as well. The idea of what the charges actually are doesn't matter in this case. Just know that they are charged. I have another compound. Any elements in a compound have to be charged. And remember, the front one is always a positive and the last one is a negative, right? That's how we make compounds. In this case, KCl, K is in group one. So it was a plus one. Cl is in group 17. Usually it's a negative. Um, but sometimes it will change, which we will get to in later lessons, okay? But here's the idea here, that this oxygen is not a compound. It's by itself. It's not with any other um, elements, right? The rule of thumb is that any element by itself that does not have a charge in the upper right-hand corner, right? I don't see a negative 2 or a plus 6 or whatever. This is always 0, and if you see at least one element changing charge, so for example, this oxygen was a negative, and then it turned into a zero charge. These are oxidation state changes. If you see that happening, you automatically have a oxidation reduction reaction. You just need to see one element changing a charge. So oxidation reduction reaction. So this one, we can group this as two different reactions. We could say decomp, it's decomposing. One thing is breaking up into two different things. And because it's a change of uh, state or oxidation state, it's an oxidation reduction reaction. Stay tuned for more of those coming up in uh, the next questions if you are on the uh, chemistry playlist, okay? But other than that, that's it. What'd you guys think? Hopefully this helped. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. Love hearing from you guys. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard. 
you know, sometimes chem is hard, but hopefully these videos are helping you guys out. I love helping you out. And, um, yeah, we do it for the love of, of education, chem, physics, math. If you have uh, questions in chem and physics, and if we have, if you have questions in physics and math, we also have videos for that at the moment as well. So go check that out. Okay. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.